The sliding window pattern is a technique used in solving problems related to arrays and strings. It involves maintaining a set of elements within a window that can slide through arrays or strings. The size of the window can vary, and it's often used to efficiently perform operations like finding subarrays, sublists, or substrings that satisfy certain conditions. Let's look at a problem which will help us understand this pattern. Let's say you have a contiguous collection of books where each book has a value associated with it and you are allowed to take four contiguous books. Let's assume you want to pick the four contiguous books with the highest total value. How are you going to do it? What you will do here is you will start at the beginning and you will add up the sum of these four books. This sum will be saved in a variable, let's say max sum and you will be storing the indices of these four books somewhere as well. Now you will move your window by one and you will recalculate the sum. You'll now take this sum and compare it to the current max sum. If the new sum is greater, you will need to update max sum, otherwise continue. Once you've gone through the whole book list, you can simply take the four contiguous books with the highest value. What we just did here is a brute force sliding window. This can be considered brute force as each time we move the window, we had to calculate the value of the books within the window every time. This algorithm can be improved by simply removing the value of the book, which is not in the window anymore, and then adding the value of the new book that has been added to the window. This way, we won't have to calculate the sum of each book in our window, which slows down our algorithm. The sliding window pattern typically consists of two pointers, a left pointer and a right pointer. These pointers define the current window, and as the window slides through the array or the string, the pointers are adjusted accordingly. As I said, this pattern is particularly useful when dealing with problems that require you to find a subarray, sublist, or substring that satisfies a specific condition, like the maximum sum of a subarray, the longest substring without repeating characters, or the minimum size subarray with a given sum. Here's a general outline of how the sliding window pattern works. We first have the initialization step. We set up two pointers, usually at the beginning of the array or string. We then expand the window. We move the right pointer to expand the window, adding elements to the current window. We then contract the window. If the current window satisfies the given condition, we try to minimize or maximize it by moving the left pointer. And at the end, we repeat. We continue with steps 2 and 3 until we process the entire array or string. The sliding window pattern can help optimize the time complexity of certain algorithms by avoiding redundant computations. Here are some lead code questions that you can explore, which require you to use the sliding window pattern. Longest substring without repeating characters. Longest repeating character replacement. In the description box below, I have left links to more sliding window lead code problems. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it somewhat useful to reach your goal. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it allows me to keep creating more and better content for you, all completely free of charge. See you on the next video.